Hi, good day. I'm Jeremy from the Philippines and this is my first video vlog. Uh, I want to show you my plan on how to make uh, pound weight battle bots using cheap toy cars. Uh, all in all, these three cheap toy cars cost around uh, $12. Uh, in Philippine peso, it's around 500 peso plus. <clears throat> so this one is not a remote control car. This is just a noisy and a wacky car. Like this. So I just bought this for the extra motors and to get the lights and uh, the sound effects. Uh, I'll just get whatever's inside and this body will go to my nephew. Now for the uh, main components of the car or the battle bot I bought these two Lightning McQueen cars uh, see. The is on. Uh, these are two I bought oops, two different kinds of cars this one has a steering control Let's turn this off first oh. this one uh, has a steering control here as you can see it's moving and the drive forward and backward so my plan is this was supposed to be the board for the main drive of the tires and this one is supposed to be the control board for the main weapon which I plan to make a drum spinner but unfortunately since these are both cheap cars and both made in uh, China, probably must produce boards. Uh, it a single remote control interferes to both uh, boards. So this one, this is supposed to be the control for this, but it also interferes to the drive of this one. So what I'm planning to do now, basically, will be like this. This will be the setup. I'll cut off this part. I'll get this body, including the uh, battery uh, enclosures on the drive wheels. I'll remove both this and put some stoppers in there so they will be close enough together. It will be more or less like this. Okay, so just try to imagine that. Then I will rewire the controls so I'll use both boards uh -huh. and so because as you can see here I'll be using one remote control so this one this is supposed to be for this one which controls the the drive and uh, another remote for this but since they interfere uh, I'm going to use one control both for the drives and for the main weapon which is a drum spinner so this is how it's going to work uh -huh. uh, this board uh, I will rewire instead of going here this one I, I'll I'll switch the boards for this one. I I'll cut this one, this, and re rewire to this drive. So uh, I'll have this to drive uh, this motor for the left side, and this one here for the right side. So I can have individual drives for both, so I can make them spin forward or backward, reverse individually and this board since this is interfering with this one this will be the I will rewire this to this part this this motor this extra motor will be the drive for the drum spinner so if I will rewire it to this every time I drive this one either forward or backward that's the time also that the drum spinner will move or rotate and since this one whichever control I use uh, it moves in one direction only so that's one fortunate thing I found out about this so uh, 
uh, I, like other battle bots they have this uh, individual drives for both tires so you can have a better maneuver you can have a uh, short uh, radius of spin or turn like that <coughs> and like this one if you have this uh, steering wheels on the front you have a big radius turn so that's a very big disadvantage and since I have two drives I have big torque because this one I this toys also have uh, this part is gearbox also here so uh, fortunately they have the same ratio so I won't have problems with different speed when I move forward or backward so this will be the position I just cut off this to make it closer and put it in a different body where I can put the drum spinner so if you, have, if you guys have any good ideas or suggestions on how, how to improve this or how to make this better that's my initial plan and uh, maybe a week or a couple of weeks I can have more or less the the uh, uh, the shape or the outcome of the battle bot so that's it for now and good night